Hi, my name is Ron Bishop from Timaru, New Zealand. I'm showing you the front cover of a book called The Streets of Timaru. I've been walking the streets of Timaru and videoing all the business premises. Let me show you where I've been and where I'm going. Here's a map taken from the book. I've done Stafford Street which goes right through to North Street. So I've videoed both sides of Stafford Street. Today I'm going to video all the streets back to the railway line. The Terrace, Strathallan, Bearswick and Kane Street and a wee bit of George Street. So I'll see you shortly. Well here I am. I'm on the Terrace in Timaru. And I'm about to take you down the Terrace and show you the buildings there and everything that's on the terrace. We're at the top of the terrace, the beginning of the terrace and we're looking at a sign that says TDC Public Car Park. Timur District Council provided us with free parking for two hours maximum with access to Stafford Street. What city in New Zealand would provide you with a car park for two hours right in the heart of the city? It's absolutely fantastic. The free car park in Timaru on the terrace shows you a fantastic view of the city. Here's the Ballantines building that we videoed the other day. This is uh, Cannon Street, I think. Yeah, going up there. And this is this main street. This is Stafford Street from the top of the car park on the terrace. Right, we're looking at the terrace, the terrace rest home. Down this alleyway here is the terrace rest home for elderly people. Alongside it in this nice building here is the terrace optometrist. Terrace, op the terrace optometrists are there alongside the terrace rest home. Beds Direct, Mattresses Manufacturers, and Just Jude Weight Management and Support. There on the other side of the street here, Beds Direct, Mattress Manufacturers, and Jude Exercise, Lifestyle and Management. This is an old uh, historic building, and it's called Hampton House. Hampton House, on the terrace in Timaru. A more modern building, another more modern building called Cliff House. Cliff House on the Terrace 15A. The Terrace. Across the road we have two businesses, Ross Wells and Company, Practicing Accountants, and Gresham, Gresson Dorman and Co. There it is, Gresson, Dorman and Co. Nice looking building there at number 12, the Terrace. Found another customer car parking, BNZ. Customer parking for BNZ customers visiting our store. And it's down there at the Stafford Mall. Stafford Mall. Here it is, the Stafford Mall. There's a car park here at the Stafford Mall. And there's the BNZ. You go down there to the BNZ. From the Stafford Mall car park you can just see a glimpse at the top of the Coronation Building uh, which is housed by the farmers. And in behind the Coronation Building there you can see another car park which is on another street which I'll take you to shortly. There it is. You go down the stairs to the mall. Eight the terrace is Millwood Finley Lob Limited, consulting uh, civil and constructional engineers and registered uh, professional surveyors. There they are across the road, and alongside them is the South Canterbury Club private car park. This handsome looking building on the terrace here is called the South Canterbury Club. 
This is the South Canterbury Club where all the professionals are members. There's some private car parking in here. Private car parking in behind a law firm called RSM Law. As I walk down the terrace I see in front of me a handsome looking building called Timaru Community Link. Timaru Community Link. This is the house of all the uh, government departments. Hari Mai and welcome to the face face to face government and non government services in your community. Work and income, child, youth and family, a service of the Ministry of Social Development. They're all in here. There's RSM Law. First to turn to, a leader in the law. That's their building on the corner of the terrace and uh, yes this is the corner of Strathallen Street and the terrace. Across the road on the other side we have another law firm called Timpany Walton. Timpany Walton are in there. Looking at another building called Mainland Insurance Mortgages and investments are on the top floor, on the bottom floor is Post Shop and Bike Inc. Post Shop and Bike Inc. I forgot to mention this is also the home of Kiwi Bank in Timaru. Kiwi Bank is in there also. This is another one of my favourite buildings. The architecture is absolutely fantastic. It's called Community House. And there are a number of community uh, places in there. Uh, it's number 27 Strathallen Street. Community House. While I'm here, I'm looking at Bob Fitzsimmons. This is Bob Fitzsimmons. Was donated to the city by Bob Jones. From 1863 to 1917, he was the middleweight, lightweight and heavyweight champion of the world. Absolutely fantastic. Thanks Bob. Whenever you come to Timaru the first thick place you want to go is the toilet. Well here it is on Strathallen Street on the corner of Strathallen Street and Stafford Street. I'm looking at a sign across the road it says Timaru Farmers Market. Here every Saturday morning from the 30th of March. Timaru Farmers Market. On the left hand side of Strathallen Street there is the bus stops. This is where the buses pull up so you can catch a bus here to go anywhere around the city. This handsome building is DC Turnbull seed, Grain and Seed Merchants and Farm Merchandise. They're in the DC Turnbull building. A very well presented historic building. There is a date on that DC Turnbull building. It was established in 1894 and the building I think was built in 1901. 1901 is the number there. Fantastic building. This is the Custom Steakhouse. Steak Custom House. Customs House. It was the Customs House. It was the old uh, law courts uh, many years ago. Yeah, there's the sign, the HM Customs, 1902. 1902, HM Customs, 1902. Here's another handsome looking building, just been painted by the look of it. It used to be the Royal Hotel. It's now got new tenants, Platinum here, number one, Beswick Street. On the corner of Beswick and... Um, Cain's Terrace. Yes, I went in to find out what the name of this Cain's Terrace was, but no one wanted, didn't know. But anyway, I found out in the finish. Draft line design is also in that fantastic building. This is the Grosvenor Hotel. The Grosvenor. One of Timaru's top hotels uh, for many years. It's now owned by a Japanese family, 
they own the Grosvenor Hotel on the corner of Beswick and sorry there's no signs here but it's on the corner of Beswick and Kane's Terrace Kane's Terrace absolutely fantastic the Grosvenor Hotel I understand the owners have spent a lot of money inside of there doing it up for conferences and that uh, that's the Grosvenor Hotel on Kane's Terrace from the car park I thought I'd give you a shot of the old railway station there it is that's from Kane's Terrace looking down onto the old railway station we'll get a closer look at that later on this is the tax, taxi uh, workshop service it's where they do up the taxis and it says here the sign says no taxis available from here taxi free phone at railway station and Church Street. Question to the Timaru taxis. Why couldn't you put the phone number on the window <laughs> with the sign? This is the Perpetual Trustees building. Perpetual Trustees. There's a sign that says down there idea. So I don't know what the idea is but that's what the idea and the sign says. The sign on this building says Taylor's Signs Limited. Taylor's Signs Limited. And of course, Colin Taylor run this business for many years. And he's since retired and the building sits empty. It's for sale or lease. It's a nice, handsome looking building there. He's painted it up well. Just down the road is J House of Jane Elliott. House of Jane Elliott is in the Morton and Co. Uh, building there. This used to be an auction house. All the auctions were held here at Morton's. Speaking of Morton's, there they are. Morton's, auctioneers, valuers and real estate. They're on the corner of George Street and what is that street again? Kane's Terrace. I wish they'd put signs up. I found a very small street sign that called, it says Beswick Street. This is Beswick Street. I'm going to go up there and have a look what's on Beswick Street. Well, the ANZ Bank is on the corner of uh, Stafford Street and Beswick Street. This is the ANZ Bank. Alongside it, we have Workbridge. Workbridge, they provide work for certain types of people. Stafford personnel is alongside them. They're also uh, people who employ people or find work for people. Stafford personnel. Davis Ogilvy is also in there. He's a registered surveyor. Talk about quaint buildings. This is the quaintest I've ever seen. It's absolutely fantastic. 17 Beswick Street. 17 Beswick Street, you'll find this fantastic looking building. The downstairs tenants are South Canterbury Midwifery Partnership and Sir Jeeves Limited Superior Cleaning, Painting and Maintenance Services. There you are. They're on the ground floor. This big white building looks like a white elephant houses the Inland Revenue Department and the Department of Building and Housing. They're in here. That's what's left, uh, the, what's left of them. There's not many people left. They've all uh, been downsized. It's the Inland Revenue Department and Department of Building and Housing. That's another shot of the uh, Royal Hotel, the old Royal Hotel uh, on Beswick Street. Number five. Number five Beswick Street was the old Royal Hotel. Behind those doors there, you'll find number eight wide bar. Number eight wide bar is in behind those doors. Also on the ground floor of the Grosvenor Hotel is the Grosvenor Bar. The Grosvenor Bar and Gaming Lounge. It's all there on the ground floor of the Grosvenor Hotel on Beswick Street. There is underground parking here on Beswick Street. Undercover private parking 
front door locked at night and weekends. $60 plus GST per month. There you are. You want to park your car on Beswick Street. This tall white building here was once the NZI building. NZI insurance building. I used to have an office in there once. It's now the Budget Advisory Service and Relationships Aotearoa. Relationships Aotearoa, whatever that means. Cutting station. Cutting station is a hairdressing, for hairdressing station. I suppose it's for men and women, it doesn't say. Alongside it is Spud Supreme. Spud Supreme was once owned by a member of my family. Uh, and they do a very good spud in there. Shoe repairs, Evans Shoe Repairs is uh, Evans Shoe Repairs is alongside them. Getting a bit busy this town. I better move on. I finished this video looking at this fantastic white building that used to house the NZI Insurance and other insurance companies. At the bottom uh, are two stags, a, a cafe by the name of Two Stags as we look down uh, Stafford Street. So until the next street, I'll see you later. Help us promote the Canterbury City of Timaru on YouTube. Post your donation to Timaru Tourist Promotions Limited, 132 Glenetti Road, Timaru, Postcode 7910 New Zealand. You can make an online banking on 060 889 0257 897 00. Your promoter of this video is Ronnie Bishop. Phone country 064, local code 03, phone number 686 1271. We look forward to your support.